It's about discovering the original, real you, the, the authentic work of art that God made when he created you, not like anybody else. He, on purpose, he made you different from everyone else. As a matter of fact, when God made you, he said, I'll never do that again. <laughs> and, and I'm glad for that because we are so individual. God is not into cloning in any kind of a way, and he has made us all different for his purposes. My goal in trying to share with you how to reach in there and grab a hold of the real you is not for some psychological seduction idea, but so that because the real you, that's who the purpose of God was made for, custom made for the real you. If you've lost the real you, if she's covered up, if somewhere along the way she just has disappeared or camouflaged, that is the person for whom God made a plan and a purpose, how important it is to, to retrieve her, to rescue her, to bring her back into being so that you can fulfill the plan of God for your life. Just shortly after I came to California, I worked in a little typist of a little place in San Francisco, and there at the place where I worked, a salesman whom I met that morning would rape me that night as a virgin teenager, brand new Christian, I was like, well, I guess this is what real life is like in the big city. I, you know, I escaped, I sat in my little car on the side of the road crying my eyes out, went into a bathroom, tried to clean up at some gas station. And I remember thinking to myself, Lee, talk about loser. Honey, this is the story of your life, see. You attract these people to yourself. Here, here I am talking myself into being, you know, the perpetrator when I, I'm the victim, but I'm feeling guilty. If you tell anyone you were raped, I said to myself, it'll be the confirmation that you're a loser. You better just learn how to swallow hard and put on a happy face and go back to work and begin pretending that it never happened. And that, that's what we women do too much of the time. Put on a happy. But some smart person once said, we're only as sick as our secrets. That's so true. How we need a place of safety, a place of shelter where we can bring our secrets out into the open and they can shrink to their, to their real size. Well, I didn't know anything about that. I just... Went back to work and was very sick for weeks after that emotionally and physically till finally I went to the doctor for a flu shot and he said, you're pregnant, congratulations. I said, no, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but you can't get it on the first time. And you know, here I am trying to talk the doctor out of it. It's not doing any good. And finally, I had to accept the fact that I was pregnant as a result of that rape. We're not as honest as we should be. No. We come to church on Sunday morning. Every woman is like this. <laughs> hi, hi. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. I'm just fine. <laughs> Of course, her kids were fighting all the way in the car, didn't want to go to church, and she's thinking to herself, well, <laughs> my credit cards are all maxed out, and my husband's an alcoholic, and this medication has me wired, but I'm fine. <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. No, she's fine. How often we see this, don't we? She said, and she's as sweet as it is. <laughs> and it's so phony, you know? It's not real. I believe the church should be a place. Oh, I, I just hate that when people say to me, I'm fine. I think fine. F I N E. Frustrated, insecure, neurotic, and an emotional wreck. <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. But I used to think that love was a feeling. I had no control over it. Out of left field, this feeling of love would come like, like a white dove, you know, 
descending from above, as it were, <laughs> landing on my shoulder, and I'd be like, <laughs> yes, hi, <laughs> yeah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I would just be just feeling so much love. And I, I don't know, it came out of left field. I, but you know, that lasted for a while until this stuff crapped all down my back. <laughs> I ain't love anymore, no. I'm definitely out of love, yeah. Let's do some business with God. I pray these women will be grounded in love, God. rooted in love and grasp how high and wide and long is the love of God for them. 